Hello and welcome back to the Zen Garden Channel. Apologies for the late video has been a busy few days, but here I am. Today we are exploring a new type of plant we haven't spoken about yet in the channel. Carnivorous plants. There is a few of them, but they are all very different, so I thought it was best to speak about one at the time. I picked the Venus flytrap for today. It's the only carnivorous plant I had so far. Unfortunately, it died a couple months ago, and I'm just waiting to see it again at the garden center and get a new one. But before we deep into the carnivorous world, let's check out what is our mystery plant from the previous video. And the mystery plant is called Astroliusta bicarinata, used to be called Astroworthia bicarinata. From the genus Astroloba, they are very closely related to the genus Haworthia, but are distinguished by their flowers being regular and not double-tipped. The flowers are small and white and appear clustered on slender racemes. The Venus flytrap, or Dianaea mesipula, is native to subtropical wetlands on the east coast of the United States. It's a small plant, typically reaching only 5 to 10 centimeters in diameter. Its structure is simple, a stem, a few leaves, and the iconic lobed traps. The trap is a marvel of natural engineering. Two lobes, hinged together, form a trap that can snap shut in less than a second. The inner surfaces are lined with hair-like cilia that interlock when the trap is sprung. But how does it work? The trap is triggered when an insect touches two or more of the tiny hairs on the inner surface within 20 seconds. This causes a rapid release of water from the cells, snapping the trap shut. Once the prey is trapped, after a few more movements, approximately five, the plant begins to secrete digestive enzymes, breaking down the insect and absorbing the nutrients. This process can take anywhere from five to 12 days, after which the trap reopens, ready for its next meal. If you enjoy our content, hit that subscribe button and you will get notified every time we post a new video. Venus flytraps also undergo a period of dormancy. This period typically lasts from three to five months. It begins in the fall when temperatures drop below seven degrees Celsius and the plant starts shedding its summer leaves. During this time, the plant's growth slows and it puts out smaller, ground-hugging leaves. Contrary to what one might expect, Venus flytraps are not tropical plants. They are very hardy and can withstand frost and light freezes. However, extended freezes can be fatal. During dormancy, the plant still requires light to stay healthy, despite they looking like dead. Don't get scared if you see the leaves turn black and fall off. This is normal when they are dormant. As spring arrives and temperatures rise, the Venus flytrap exits its dormant stage and resumes its growth. This cycle of growth and dormancy is a crucial part of the Venus flytrap's life, allowing it to conserve energy and survive in harsh conditions. If you think this is useful information so far, leave a like. A few tips for caring for Venus flytrap are, one, sunlight. Venus flytraps require at least four hours of direct sunlight a day. They should be placed in a location where they will receive 12 hours of light daily during the growing season from spring to fall. 2. Water. It's better to water Venus flytraps with rainwater than tap water. In the absence of rainwater, use distilled water and frequently to keep the soil moist at all times, but not saturated. 3. Soil. Venus flytraps grow naturally in bogs with wet, acidic, nutrient-poor soil. You can mimic these conditions indoors with an acidic, moisture-retentive compost. Use nutrient-poor soil such as peat moss or sphagnum moss and a pot with good drainage. 4. Feeding. If they don't eat naturally, feed your Venus flytrap fortnightly with live flies, including mosquitoes and gnats. Venus flytraps get all of their necessary nutrition from sunlight and from insects they consume. 5. Temperature and humidity. Venus flytraps prefer warm temperatures between 20 and 35 degrees Celsius, but can survive temperatures as low as 4 degrees if properly protected. They also prefer humid environments with good airflow, but won't require very high humidity. 7. Avoid fertilizing. Do not fertilize Venus flytraps, as they perform best in soil that is low in nutrients. They will get the nutrients from whatever bugs they are feeding on. Remember, each Venus flytrap may have slightly different care requirements depending on its specific environment. Always monitor your plant's health and adjust care as needed. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to subscribe our channel and like our videos. Here is a new mystery plant. Let us know what you think it is in the comment section. See you soon.